Hey guys, Look at the Pombop here and welcome to my review of The Sims 4 Kids Room Stuff. So this is the latest stuff pack for The Sims 4 and it's all based around kids. So this kids stuff pack is dedicated to everything to do with kids basically. So here is the pop up when you first download the game. So it says battle with monsters, play with puppets, which both of those things are relating to the brand new gameplay objects. Also it says customise kids bedrooms and kids fashion. So I'll leave the time codes down in the description to where you guys can skip to certain points in the video if you only want to watch a certain point or you just want to quickly jump to certain points. So today I'm going to be going through of course a CAS, build and buy mode and a live mode. So welcome to my CAS section of my review. So today I'm going to be taking you through everything in CAS. So let's start with the boys and let's go to the hairstyles. So we have two brand new hairstyles. We have this little long haired one which is swept up at the back and then we have this fuzzy curly one here which is really cute so we have four brand new styled looks the first one is all the graphics oh, so which bad. is this like character t-shirt and there's lots of different ones <laughs> the amazing cat one which I cannot wait to put on my sims it looks so cute then we have the ready to play which is just like a shirt one then we have the tough it up which is like a jacket styled one and then we have the mischief maker so firstly for tops we have two four six eight we have ten brand new t-shirts so first up we have this shirt and then we have this hoodie which has got kind of a leafy pattern on it and it's so so cute then we have this jumper we have this jacket with the graphics t-shirt underneath which changes color as well then we have the graphics t-shirt which is of the skateboarder then we have the one for kids with the cat on. And this one's so cute. The space colour changes colour. Then we have this graphics t-shirt with the patterns on it. The geometric patterns. Then we have the monster graphics t-shirt. Oh, and it changes as well to like this little heart one as well. And then that one as well. Then we have the graffiti styled one with the skateboard as well. And then the animal one with giraffes on it. That's really, really cute. So for full body, we have two brand new ones. We have this outfit here and then this outfit here. Then for bottoms, we only have one pair, which are these blue jeans. And then they also do, of course, change colour. Last but not least, we have one brand new set of shoes, which is kind of like these hiking boot kind of shoes. And there's so many colours for them. And there's patterns as well, where you can change it to. Oh, and these space shoes. Space shoes, guys. Oh my gosh, they're so cool. Look at the space shoes. So now for the girls. So hairstyles, we have four brand new ones. Um, now the two which are for boys also cross over for the girls. So we have this long hair one with a um, little plait here. Then we have this tied up one here with the bow. And then we have the two which we saw a second ago, which are what the boys uh, just had. Styled looks, we also have four brand new ones. So first up we have the rock and chick, which is really, really cute. Then we have the graphic to a T, which is similar to the boys one, but it looks like different graphics on them. Then we have the tropical, tropical, oh, topical, tropical even, the pineapple t-shirt. Then last but not least, we have the touch of sparkle. So for tops, we have quite a lot for the girls. So first up, we have this blouse. Then we have this leather jacket. Then we have this kind of like baseball t-shirt. And then it also has graphics on it which is kind of like the emojis, which is really cute. Then we have the same hoodie which the boys had, as well as the same skateboarder t-shirt, the same cat t-shirt, which again is adorable, and these same graphic t-shirts here. Now the girls have short sleeve graphic t-shirts as well, and they have little hamsters on them, or they might even be cats. Then we have the Super Llama t-shirt. We have this, I'm assuming celebrity kind of thing, like Justin Bieber um, kind of top. And then we have this, little dog or beagle full body we have four for the girls now these two are which the boys had here then we have this little outfit here this like camouflagey one and then the pineapple one so for bottoms we have these pair of ripped jeans we have this little dress and then these jeans which the boys also had then for shoes we have the same shoes the boys had the really really nice trainers which also let me remind you come in spacey colors which is so cute 
So that was everything in cast. Overall, I am quite pleased. As we all know, kids stuff was quite limited when it did come to packs. But this one has blown out the water and given you lots and lots of stuff. I absolutely adore some of the patterns and colours, like the cat t-shirt and the space themes. They're just so, so nice and I cannot wait to put them on my... So welcome to my build and buy mode review section. So first up, we have three brand new starred rooms. So we first up, we have the all to myself girls bedroom, which is 10,000 simoleons. So let's just place it down. Oh. Here we go. So it's really, really cute little pink bedroom here. Next up, we have the master playroom. And this playroom is super adorable. Last but not least, we have the boys bedroom, which is can have it all, which is 14,000 simoleons. Let's just place it down. Here it is. Again, it's just so awesome. And really, really cute. So here's everything we have in kids room stuff here. Now, doesn't seem like a lot, but it's going to be really awesome. So let's go ahead and place it all down and have a look. So first up, we have a brand new bed. Now, I absolutely love this because we didn't really have many kids beds. And the best thing about it is there's so many stars for it. So if I pick it up and we have a look at some of the colours. Now, they've so many patterns for it. So there's like geometric shapes. There's these really cute graphics. It's just amazing. I just absolutely love this bed. Next up, we have a brand new chair. And again, lots of colours. Then we have this little bench area, as well as a brand new end table and desk and chair. So for wall decorations, we have lots of new ones. So we have a brand new clock and we have a brand new display area. And this changes colors as well. So you can get like characters and space. Then we have a new display wall, little decoration. Then we have lots of brand new posters and graphics put on walls. Now there's all these little, um, robots that change shape and these little characters and these are kind of like Pokemon and it's the brand new gameplay feature in the game which I'll get to later on but as you can see there's so many different ones it's just so cute brand new poster with brand new decorations another Pokemon like poster and then these wall decorations we also have these little photo chains which I absolutely love and I think I might even use them as my adults bedrooms for sims because it's just so awesome we also have two brand new little wall separators we have a brand new mirror we have these lamps for new lighting we have you would not believe a little rocket lamp and a trunk we have a new wardrobe and bookshelves a brand new table a bin a robot and a new cuddly toy so last but not least, we have our two brand new gameplay items, which are the Puppet Theatre and the Games Console area, which I'm going to get into in my Live Mode review. Overall, although it doesn't seem like a lot, there is so much that's been added to Build and Buy Mode. There's so many different selections we have per an item. It's not just one, you know, choice. Like I said, this bed is so many different possibilities. It's just so awesome. I really personally love it all kind of depends what you want if this kids stuff pack you didn't want based on you know if you didn't want it for build and buy mode items i guess okay if you pass it but if you want it for build and buy mode items get it immediately it's so awesome so welcome to my live mode section so this part i'm going to be reviewing all the brand new gameplay objects which have been added to the game so first up, I have placed down the brand new games console area now with this you actually collect little cards which are similar to like pokemon cards and kids can play games with them and link them up and it's really really cute so let's go ahead so what we want to do is you need to access a computer and what you can do is you can purchase void critter booster packs and you can purchase one pack or five packs so what i'm going to do is get my child sim to go and purchase five packs so it says jen purchased several void critter booster packs he can open them from his inventory to discover which monsters are hidden inside so let's go to our inventory we have five packs so let's open up our first pack so inside we've got fisher i'm gonna i'm gonna show you these in a minute then we have nimbus who's a little oh they have elements so this is oh we have a limited edition foil fire guard and then we have a wind character oh we got another fish fisher but this is like a regular one then we have Dicotl, which is a wind who is rare. I'm probably saying this completely wrong. 
Then last but not least, we have Wisp, which is a common and is the void element. So these can actually be placed down. So I'm just going to get back to the bedroom and I'll place them down so you can have a look. So we can, oh, there we go. So we can actually place them down and they're really, really, really little, like cute little objects, which our Sims can keep. Now with these, what we can do is we can actually play and train the void critters. So let's train our, let's choose our, one of our, let's choose our golden rare card. So let's go up the stairs and train it. Now with these, when we do train up our characters, we can actually play with people with it and play with some of our friends on this. So here we go, he's coming up to our little games console. So it's absolutely adorable what he's doing. So with these cards, we can actually, if we click on them, we can read their descriptions and it tells you their little descriptions, it's really awesome. So eventually when we do have friends around, we can actually play with them on this and have battles, which is really cool. So th this is kind of like a Pokemon equivalent and you've got to collect all the cards. And it's so cool. So next up, of course, we have the puppet theater. So we can put on a puppet show for people or we can do it on for one person. So we can play, I'm assuming we get more as we go along, but at the moment we currently have the search of the notebook snatcher and the creature of granite falls. So I'm going to do the creature of granite falls. Now these we can actually perform two people or just perform. So let's have a look here. There we go. So we have our puppets here. So that is the puppet show. It's really cute. It's a nice little simple one and we can invite people to watch it so we can invite someone whoever we want and they can um watch the show and it's really really a little cute idea for sims so overall i love everything that's been added with gameplay i personally absolutely love the brand new collection cards um the void critters i absolutely love it i love the sense that we can now collect the equivalent of like pokemon cards and trade them with our friends and that it's just awesome so thank you so much for watching. Please let me know down in the description in the comments what you think about the pack. Again, I absolutely love it. I really, really like this pack. And it has to be one of the best stuff packs compared to like some of the other ones like Cool Kitchen, which wasn't amazing. But this one is top notch. It's just amazing. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. If you subscribe, you'll be notified when I next upload a video. And it also really helps me out. Also, if you'd like to consider becoming my Patreon and helping my channel out, I'll leave links down in the description as well. So, I will see you next time. Bye!